Diablo 3 is a good game despite the lack of love shown to it by Activision Blizzard. The beauty of the game in its current condition is almost entirely due to the team behind the Reaper of Souls expansion. Removing the horrible auction house of original D3 and rebalancing the loot system led to a wonderful grind to go insane with. Moreover console has a slightly better loot drop chance. This was done to allow the console users to be more casual compared to the typically hardcore PC fan base. Speaking of loot. The legendary loot in this game is particularly satisfying not only because of the sound it makes when it drops and the beam of light leading to it that frames the tiny thing like a halo. No but because of how it synergies both with character abilities and with other legendary item abilities for instance. Items that set your add your thorns damage to your pets and others that summon pets after a massacre bonus. Or one item that adds armor equal to the gold picked up by your character for 5 seconds. Another that heals you equal to the gold picked up. One more that increases your gold pick up radius when you pick up gold. And one that gives you a shower of gold after a massacre. Finally one that gives you gold for every hit you make on an enemy. But if you don't want to go for the perfect build or just can't due to your drops there's a perfect solution to this. Just choose a lower or higher difficulty according to your gear and skill level. From normal all the way up to Torment 16 you can keep the game a constant challenge for hundreds or even thousands of hours. Higher difficulty increases the chance of rarer rewards spawning. With there even being a gate where certain legendaries won't spawn without passing through Torment 1. If between the constantly evolving difficulty and the randomly generated maps you've managed to feel bored. Seasonal play may alleviate that ailment. A constantly rebooting competitive environment with season-specific rewards and leaderboards. Each season you create a new character and level it up both level-wise and difficulty-wise. Moreover when the season ends you don't lose your character they are transferred to your normal play mode. One downside to this is that there is rampant cheating in the competitive console version of the game. At least in the Switch version most of the top 100 are all cheating with obviously hacked weapon damage. Finally, let's go back to the beginning and talk about the leveling system and why it's so perfectly balanced. This was made when Blizzard knew how to balance a leveling system before they started selling character boosts in World of Warcraft. You gain skills in such a timing that you're encouraged to experiment with each skill. At least if you're not being babysat by a higher level friend running you through levels. By the time you're getting lots of good and strange legendaries you know all your abilities well enough to match your loadout to your best gear set. Well that's about it for me let me know in the comments what you think of this game.